don't rightly know where I am again. Good frizzy hair morning. We are off to Scotland. We're going to Scotland. We are spending two weeks in Scotland, going literally all over the place. And uh, yeah, it's technically for work, but I'm going to explore Scotland. This is my first time going to Scotland since I was very, very small and I don't really remember it. So this is gonna be incredible. We're gonna go to some amazing places. Stay tuned. Here we go, another adventure. Excited to go to Scotland for the first time. Mm. What are your expectations, if any? British Tennessee. Scotland. So, three and a half hours later we're at our very first stop here at the Holiday Inn and somehow we've managed to get an exclusive room. Let's go have a look. It comes with a free bearded man and absolutely no lights. Gabriel, you forgetting? You forgot already. You forgot already. Here's our home for one night. Oh, that's cute. It's actually a really nice uh, little the view! Oh, that's so pretty. I'll have to go have a little walk around here in a minute. Ooh, you even get a fan. Have to have somebody to be done in the bathroom. Good size shower. And we have body lotion! Bathtub and body lotion make me happy. Shower caps. Oh! Little travelling toothbrush. wild because I had the window open all the way here. Wow, we have to go look around this place. 
we have to go for a little, little walk. A little walk around Scotland. Mm, yes. So we're gonna go off to the uh, with the spoons because we have a budget of 40 a day between the two of us. So with our spoons it is. This hotel is very nice, very clean. It smells nice. So so far. The hotel. Don't actually know what this building is. So go a quick look at the church. It's a very nice area though. Yeah. Lots of old buildings. Nice little walking area here, but this is what I really wanted to show. I'm not gonna go in because I want to go get food, but. So that's the restaurant. What do you think so far? My it's really nice. It's kind of place where it's a bit dark, you feel safe walking around it. But yeah, the Holiday Inn restaurant has even got the thing out there. I am very frizzy. <laughs> I'm excited for this trip, it's going to be interesting. We're going to how many hotels? This is the first out of six. Yeah, we're doing six hotels I believe, but um, we're going to several locations, like a lot of locations, including, and you have to stay throughout the whole ride, a end location, not in Scotland, of an area I'm thinking of moving to in about a year or two. Cold, but it's not too cold. I enjoy cold weather though. If anyone who knows me knows that I love cold weather. Beautiful. Why the spoons? It's an old abandoned school of some sort. Interesting old building. So now I get to look at this strange building up here. I don't rightly know where I am again. The name of this town, do you remember? It begins with a D. Oh, I'm f***ing awful at like this. Oh, I'm having fun. Oh no, this is. I die those apartments. Sheriff Court, Justice of the... Oh, it's the Scottish police. The court office. Oh my god, he's jaywalking. Just kidding. That doesn't happen here. Some cool buildings though. This is an older weather spins. I just sit down here. Sticky toffee pudding. The American with the American pancakes as a dessert. And well, that was lovely. I spent the last 20 minutes of our meal listening to three adult Scottish men very intensely, first discussing The Hobbit and arguing, and then they start they got onto Lord of the Rings and about three ants, and it just got really intense. Then they started talking about Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, then they got onto Pirates of the Caribbean. I couldn't even concentrate my sticky toffee pudding now, I was just so entranced in the conversation. I'm really, really full. But don't get me wrong, if you're looking to come, if you're American, and you want to come to England, with a spoons is not the first place you should go. With a spoons is the place you go if you want a cheap, dirty pub experience. It is a cheap, dirty pub that's wonderful, but it's cheap, and it's like, it isn't, isn't British culture. It's like that cosy place you go after work for a cheap pint, but if you want to go to like a nice pub, you go to like an actual private owned pub, with a spoons is just like, 
I don't know how to describe it. You gotta be British to understand it. Despite the fact I don't sound British anymore, I am in fact British. Just to clear that, I don't think I've ever explained that. Or maybe I have, I don't remember. I'm British. I lived in America for 12 years, now I'm back. And everything is different. I'm very full. You know what Witherspoons is? You order your food, it is exactly what it says it is, and you go, yeah. No one's ever gone to Witherspoons and gone, oh, brilliant, oh, I love it. No one's ever done that. Just go, hmm, yeah, it's a steak. It's just what it is, you know? Anyway, that's the hotel. Google's.